Hating love bugs, this frog's come back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed today. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, namaste. Love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are yet to come for you. And if you have not already, like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when your girl about to upload her next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I always love the positive feedback and I always make sure I reply to every comment that I get. And also, if you enjoy what you heard, give me a thumbs up, like, and even share. I'll, that'll be greatly be appreciated. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and seeing what's up with my videos. And for my returning subs, what's up fam? Much love to you, love and light. And many blessings are yet to come for you. Namaste. And many blessings, um, many blessings are yet to come for you again. I apologize. I said that twice. And thank you so much for the love and support and coming to see about my video today. I am listening to, if you can hear the med uh, meditation music in the background, it's called um, Arabic music uh age of mirage is for stress relief uh anxiety and uh meditation for smooth uh spa so i'll go ahead and post that link in the description box below and my video today is about twin flame 101 hey office do you struggle with in uh with addictions and i mean it's not it doesn't have to be with just drugs. Um, anytime people hear addictions, people just naturally assume people are talking about drugs. And it could be any kind of addiction. It could be a positive addiction, like you always say positive affirmations every day, and that can be addictive. And, you know, but that's actually a good a good situation because that, that means you're trying to manifest more positivity into your life. So that's an actual good thing. But I'm talking about the negative, you know, and it could be, you know, drugs or it could be you struggle with, um, you know, self-confidence you, or you you struggle with, uh, you can have an addiction of doubting yourself or you can have an addiction of negative thinking or you can have an addiction of overthinking. And a lot of times we have these issues, basically, you know, some people try to figure out why they're like that. And it has, like I said before in many videos, and you probably already know, it has, sometimes it can be, like, far as I know, a lot of people that I have encountered that have issues like this, um, as for my, myself, we have been through a lot. You, have, you, you know, you can have been in the military and have PTSD, and you can have a an addiction of paranoia um, or you can be struggling um, with a drug you know I've had actually had a situation where um, I was at a job and it was just like you know with us hey okay, or just any in any impact we don't like it we always come across people that always figure out like they know everything you have probably I know you have probably came across more than one or two people that it could be your job or it could be in a social site there's always that one or two one or two people and square up now they know everything and i i was at this job and i had one of my bosses and i had another co-worker there with me and um they were mentioning that they were a drug counselor and i was like oh okay and I'm just like, I'm looking at him like he, you know, he doesn't come across a person that's been really addictive to anything except himself, you know? Um, so I was just like, so I was like, quick question, you know, um, he was like, well, I'm a drug counselor, you know, I got certified for it or whatever. I said, oh, okay, you know, and he was just like, you want a logic question or whatever, would you come to my, my class or whatever? And I said, well, not for addiction. I'm just like, you know, what kind of addiction did you have? Did you, were you addicted to booze? Were you addicted to any kind of pain pills? Were you addicted to marijuana? You know, what were you addicted to? And he was like, oh, I wasn't addicted to anything. And I'm just like, um, okay. You know, yeah, people can get certified for that. But it's just like with me. 
if I was, you know, I have a marijuana addiction, you know, I struggle for it for, you know, for a long time. And sometimes when it gets to that, you know, when I get stressed out, I still struggle with it at times. It can be hard at times not to, you know, deal with it. And then sometimes it can't be. I'm not going to even lie to you. I always keep it real with y'all. You know, I struggle with it also. You know, I'm not going to lie. Um... Because it's just like when you've gone through things, it's just so crazy. But yeah, when he had said that, he was like, Would you come to my class if you were addicted to anything? I said, Absolutely not. And he looked at me like all crazy, you know, thought I was going to agree with him because he was my boss. I'm like, No, you asked me for the truth. I said, You really want me to tell you the truth? And he was like, Yeah, I want your honest opinion. And then my co-worker was looking at me like, oh, gosh, she's about to let him have it. And I was like, well, you know, you opened that floodgate, so allow me to let the waters go flying. So I just told him, I said, this is the way I think of it, and it's very logical. But I said, it's just, it could just be me, but I feel like... If there was two different teachers in a class, and you're you're nice, nice dressed, and well educated, and got all these degrees, okay, that's fine. But then they actually had this person over here that has struggled with, you know, a cocaine addiction or you know some kind of painful addiction, and they struggled it with it for years. But then they've been sober for like ten or fifteen years. Who do you think I'm going to? He's like, oh, you're definitely not going to the, you know, the the cokehead. I said, actually, I would go to the cokehead just because the fact is they know what it felt like to deal with an addiction, to be in a situation that they had to struggle with. You know, when you get into that situation situation, and you have, you're have trying to teach yourself and psych yourself up and psych yourself out and train your mind to think positive. But I would rather deal with somebody who's been in that experience so they can tell me how they got out of it other than you tell me what a textbook tells you. Because your mind can't tell, you know, you can read all day about things, about how people act or whatever. But until you have gone through that yourself, you really can't tell anybody anything. That's why some people, when they're like, oh, I can't do this, I say, well... You know, well, they'll tell you, oh, I would do this this way, I'd do this this way. And we, we do fall suspect of that a lot. We will tell everybody how to do their lives, but we can't pay attention to ours. You know, it's, when we get to our lives, we just like, uh, you know, I'm just trying to figure this out. But we can have simple answers for somebody else's life. So it's just like, it's all the way of your thinking, you know, how we need to get out of that, you know. You know, become aware of the things that you need to change. You know, be able to practice on it every day. You know, if you have a negative addiction, you know, negative thought process on addiction, you know, addicting on negative process or whatever. Um, try to think about more and more, you know, positive things about yourself, positive things about others. Sometimes that can be, you know, even if you have to write it down. You know, I used to have to do that, write positive things down to get out that negative process. You know, um, when it comes to different addictions, you have to be willing to, you know, say what's more important. You know, um, I know with marijuana... A lot of people use it for meditation and I used to do it for meditation a lot too because I would seek a lot of higher answers from my higher self you know I say higher answers from higher self and it would get me to the point where I would see the the matrix I would see outside of things I would get answers you know but with mine I became to the point where it was just like when I was uh, watching Jake's video, Jake Brown from um, Final Fantasy Peasant, um, he was saying that he, he had smoked just because he wanted to turn the voices off. And I totally get that because it's just like when you have to totally, you hear other thoughts. Like there's sometimes I would sprout out other people's thoughts. I'm like, where the heck did this come from? And it's just because my my gift is enhancing so much where it's just like I'm not even just just not picking up on other people's vibrations. I'm picking up their thought process and it comes pouring out my mouth and hoping praying that I don't come out and say the wrong thing at times because sometimes it just spits out and I'm just like, okay, where did that come from? 
So, you know, it's just all about your mind process and it has to be mind over matter. You have to be willing to, you know, be willing to break that cycle, break that addiction. And it doesn't just matter over just, it could be like a, a drug or anything. It could be anything that you're going through that you have a bad tendency of doing that you know you need to break. So I'm not trying to hold you up, you know, I was just telling you this little story and just rambling on as usual, but I hope you were able to resonate with what the, what I was at least trying to say. So I will talk to you later. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to hit, hit up my next, next video. I don't know what's wrong with me being tongue-tied today. <laughs> and I will talk to you later. Much love to you. I will keep you in my prayers, and I definitely hope you will keep me in yours. Much love to you, and I hope you enjoyed your weekend. I know it's probably Tuesday or Wednesday when you're seeing this. So um, I hope everybody is blessed, and I will continue to keep you in my prayers. Drop a line or two. I said drop a line or two. Go ahead and drop a line or two. And I will talk to you later. And, you know, give me a thumbs up. It'll really be appreciated. And I will talk to you later. Bye-bye now. <laughs> Bye.